how's it going everyone? Today, let's see in this episode we're gonna uh, get started on our board set on this 1978 Gottlob Dragon System 1. Okay, I just so we I wanted to see what we had going on I went ahead and put put the board set in. Uh, we got it all straightened out. See, we got our new plugs on here and on our jumper. Power supplies in. Everything's put in. I used that untested solenoid <laughs> that driver board that we got in. That that you know at least looks a heck of a lot better than the one that was in here. Board set. I I didn't hook up a battery in it yet. Uh, battery is just going to be for saving high scores and all that stuff. We can we can just fire this up without that battery in there. We'll put the battery uh, I'll put a remote battery in it here a little later. Cleaned up that board the best I could. I, I lost a couple um, contacts on the back here. I should have showed you before I cleaned it up, but when I take it out, I'll show you what it looks like. Put in the, those two displays I got in, just for the hell of it, like I said. Oh, let me close this. And then we can... Oops. Okay, sorry about that. I had to look at my junk over there. Okay, got it plugged in. And when we turn it on, we have general illumination. That's it. Nothing going on on our backboard, but we can see what the see what the dragon that back glass looks like now. Still a few spots though I may go ahead and and touch up. Uh, we'll see. I think it turned out pretty decent. Seems awful dark down in here. I don't know. But anyway back to the board set. That's what we have going on on our board set so dark down there because there's no light bulbs and we got a bunch out. I didn't do anything to the back box yet. That was what we were going to work on in this episode. Now, what I was waiting on before we tried our board set was our game prom. There was no game prom in this when we got it. So I had to hunt around and see if I could find the game prom. Uh, the, the 6351 is the original uh, chip that goes in these, um, which is really, really hard to find these game chips. They have an adapter that you can adapt it to the 2716, but you get to 2716 and then you have to burn the game onto it, the program onto it. Well, I couldn't find anywhere where you could get the, the game itself so we could burn it onto a 2716. But I did find the original D, which as you can see, Dragon uses a prom marked D. Right up, right up thar, and as you can see thar, we have the D in it. Now if this board was with the original driver board, I'm sure we had a feedback from the looks of those chips in blue, probably this spider 
from looks looks from the looks of it this is the common one that goes bad here and it's either this one or this one are the ones that normally go bad like I said and I lost a couple contact pads on the back side here I soldered them back down but I had a hell of a time getting it cleaned up enough to where I'm still not positive that we're making good contact on that board set and I'm not really happy with that board set anyway that MPU now instead of fighting with that one and trying to get it working I have some other board sets that not board sets but MPU boards that I kinda like a little bit better this is number one you can see acid damage but if that's all that's wrong with this one we can clean this one up and put that in and get it working and the back side of this one the acid damage is our contacts I'll clean I can clean them up and see how it looks after it's cleaned up that's MPU number one number two you can see had acid damage to it but it was cleaned up really good and I don't see anything broken or the acid taken over anything else another board set board set another MPU that is complete you know minus the game prom which we have now back side of this one has really really nice contacts on it and no battery damage on the back side just a little bit here where the battery was looks like they caught it pretty quick that's MPU number two MPU number three older MPU a uh, little bit of just very little battery damage here complete minus one dip set dip switch set get that out a couple of times fast complete contacts need to change our reset contacts are ugly looking but they're just tarnished those will clean up really nice as well that's MPU number three MPU number four complete uh, let's see missing see, we have a reset all of our chips are there no acid damage maybe just a very minute bit down in there contacts contact uh, we got a jumper I think that was for the battery Let's see. yeah that's for the battery but we look really good on our contacts too so we have these four boards here that are complete has all the spiders uh, we're only missing a dip switch here uh, this is a little older this is a newer and if I'm not mistaken these two here are even newer if we could find a date on them we could figure it out this one uh, looks like that one might be 82. Let's see, copyright Gottlieb, 1977. That's just a just a 
copyright, but I, that looks like, I don't know, looks like an 82 there. 77, but I think that's going to be the only one that has a, anything that even resembles a date. Battery damage. Good, good contacts. Uh, battery damage. Contacts that are... <laughs> no, uh, looks like just maybe a little bit of battery damage. Not much at all. Just corroded terminals. This one... I think we just have maybe a minute. I don't know if that's battery damage or not. But, very good contact pads. So I th think I have a couple here that we can try out without just popping in a our game prom and putting it in, testing it, turning it on, see what happens. See if we can fry something else on it. But these are the four candidates to be used in uh, Dragon besides that one. That one was, uh, when I pull it out, I'll show you what it looks like. But I really would like to change it out because I don't trust uh, the back side of it very well. But what I am leaning on is this would be our fourth attempt. This would be, that would be, let me see here. This would be our third attempt, cleaning that, that one up. This would be our second attempt at finding maybe a good one without having to do anything. Best candidate, I think, is going to be this one right here. I think this is the one that we ought to pull the original, the MPU that's in it now, put our prom in this one, stick this one in, and see what this one does. Hey, we may get lucky, and it everything works on it. If not, we got three other chances before we have to really start tearing stuff down and changing uh, spider chips. This one... The one that I said second has two, two socketed chips on it right there. So I know that one, you know, they've worked on this one, but it's not, not real, real bad. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off, and I'm going to test some voltages first on our power supply and see how see what our voltages are like on the power supply and make sure we're getting the right amount of juice to the MPU anyway. But I wanted to put the board set in so we could actually get a look at it and see what the hell was going on. You know, it, you know, you never know. You may clean everything up, plug everything up, turn it on, and then and the game works. Well, we didn't get that lucky. So now we got to work on our board set. And we're going to change the MPU and try this one. We still might get lucky. So let's get started on getting the MPU changed out. We'll test our voltages on our power supply, make sure we're good. Now before we start pulling everything out of here, you can see I have the machine turned on. But I have our power cable off of our MPU. And oh, it, it's there. There it is. That should be our displays. Oh, or a driver board, whichever it goes to. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to test our pins here and see what kind of voltages we have. You can see I'm set it on 20 DC because these are the first two pins are plus 5 volt DC. And we'll see what the first one it is right at 5 volts. Second pin, 
is right at 5 volts and the two in the middle are two in the middle are common and our last one is minus 12 DC so we'll check that one oops in there here we go minus 12.23 so we're that socket's good. Our power going to our MPU is good. So now we really do know that we have problems in our MPU. Hmm. Okay, on the other side, on that other pin, we have to set this down to 200 volts because our first pin is 60. That should be our displays. Which we have nothing. Okay, oop, and our next pin should be plus 42, and very low. Our bottom pin, second from the bottom, is 4 volt, which is good. Now 3.4 could be a little higher, and the bottom pin is 8, which is 8.5, which is good. So our display and our plus 42, that should be for our, that should be our solenoids, should be the 42 volt. So let's, let's test them again. Let's see. We'll, yeah. Nothing. And 0.3 on 42. Okay. So we know now that our power supply, we're, we're totally dead on our, for our displays and our plus 42 is might as well say dead so we need to rebuild our power supply cool yeah nothing okay and I doubt if see this pot here is our 60 volt adjustment and I doubt if we get anything if we turn it up yeah nothing okay so let's pull that out and rebuild that first okay first thing I noticed when I took this off the board here you have to unsolder your I think that's the 5 volt not sure. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. First thing I noticed. Our, our cap here has one broken leg. Second thing I noticed is we have a broken leg on this one transistor. Our MOSFET. You can see it's the middle one. broke loose and somebody was pretty rough with it because they just about got the pads pulled up off of the off the board for the, our main our 5 volt so and it looks like it's been reworked quite a bit I mean it looks like somebody's been working all over the traces on this and reflowing the pins which we'll do again because who knows uh, what I did see on the on this is I don't know if you can see it right come on focus up there you go okay 1990 <laughs> so that may have been the last time that this has been reworked we'll redo all the caps on it we'll replace I'll go ahead and replace them both since I have them both sitting here. I'll replace both of them and all the caps. Reflow the pins. Uh, the two big ones, I don't have these. So I'm going to have to leave them as is. I, will, I thought I had them, but I don't. Bummer. So I'll mark them down, get them ordered, and get them coming. And then I'll change them at a later date before... 
before I either sell it or put it in service at the store or whatever. So let me go ahead and I'll get started and I'll get this all reworked. Uh, and we'll put her back together and see what happens. See if we can get our 40 volts or our 60 or plus 60 and our 42 for our solenoid. Do, 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 do. And we'll go from there. Oh, another thing I did notice is the screws were missing. That screws us, you know, holds the, our, or whatever that is, the uh, Teflon. It holds the Teflon circle, or, yeah, insulator. God dang, I wish I could learn how to talk. I may go ahead and change that, because I have one. I may just go ahead and swap it out, and that way it will be a little bit more reliable. Uh, we get, you know, I hate changing stuff that's not bad, but it's already unsoldered and unscrewed, I mean, and I have a new one, I just pop the new one in and solder it down, because you have to solder it back to the board to hold everything together. That'd just be one less thing that we have to worry about. So I'll get started on getting this board done. This is what I did so far. I changed both, both of our... Uh, transistors, this is the 160, this should be our 5 up top here, should be, not going to say for sure. Tip 31C, and that one, oh crap, I can't, that one is a 5036, 5036, you know what that is? Oh, 5306. Okay. Uh, I changed out both SCRs. Here and here. Put in new pots. Changed all of our small caps. I don't have the two big ones yet. But we're going to put it in and test it and see, and see what we come up with. Changed this little... Oh, uh, man. I don't even know what the hell you call him. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Come over here. Let's see. I see one. I see one. Okay, that's our five volt regulator. So I'm still, and I changed the. Oh, where's our Q, Q1? Transistor power monolithic. <laughs> monolithic. Changed that one out too. But I'm still thinking we're going to need our big caps before, before we're going to get our, our 60 and our 42 volt back. We have everything else, but, but our 60 volt... Here and our 42 plus. 60 plus and 42 plus. That's what we're missing. And that's going to be our. Uh, oh, the 60 is our displays and the 42s should be our solenoid. And I think we're going to have to change these two out before we'll get those two back. Uh, the 30. Let's see, this one. Which one is that one? Oh, let me see. 160. Okay, this is going to be our high voltage cap here. And I'm sure it's probably puked and petered out. Changed one of the little transistors down in here too. It was showing bad, but... Like I said, and tested all the diodes in here and resistors. But I'm still not confident that this is going to take care of it. I think we're going to have to change out our, our big caps. The 5 volt cap's working, but the big, the high voltage cap isn't working. That's what I'm guessing right at the moment. But I got it all, all done up. We're going to put it back together and we'll put it in and test it and see what happens. And we might get lucky and get, get our voltages back and then when these come in, we'll change them out when they do come in. I'm just trying to move forward here so I can keep this. Uh, the series going. So 
let me get this all put back on our mounting board and we'll test it out again. Okay, we got our power supply back in and now we'll test some voltages uh, again. That should be our five, which we have our five, five, and then we should have minus 12, minus 12. Okay, now the big test. Should have our 60, 62.9, and we should have our 42, 44, 9. And we should have 4 volts. Wrong one. There's our 4 volts. And our 8. So our big caps are still working. Uh, we got everything all rebuilt on there. New, new trim pots and everything. I already went through all of that with you. So now, let's get this buttoned up and I'll show you what the hell else is going on. Alright, now we'll stick a ball in it. And we'll turn it back on and see what happens. Reset one of those. Didn't reset the other side. And we have two scores uh, working. Two displays are working. And let's see if we... Uh, we have something on our four-digit going on. Kind of acting every now and then it kind of blinks. Okay. Now I'm sure that's, <laughs> I'm using our test, test button, 7778, and that flipper working, ooh, bumper, scared the crap out of me, one bumper working, it's like this half so far. Yep, got a few things going on. Press it again. Something that's test two, but don't know what the hell the first digit is on there. That's still working. I'm still kind of testing things here. Test three seventy-seven. I'll have to. See if I can't figure, find out the code, um, which each, te each test is for on this. Test four, five, six, you know, see we have our general illumination, but no, no other lights are working. Nine. And one. There's our display test. Well, we found that anyway. Okay. So now you see what we're where we're at now. We got our displays working. We got some got some power going on uh, a little bit more. Uh, we have a couple of things working. Uh, I still have to put a speaker in it to see if we get anything out of our speakers out of our tone board but yeah we're moving along we're getting closer we got our power supply all straightened out and looks like we're good there uh, still looks like we're we have some problems with our MPU so I think in our next episode we're gonna we're gonna swap out that MPU and and see what happens so until next time, where we move forward and working on the MPU on our Godlob Dragon. 
See ya.